Hello everyone, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. It's Insurrection Remastered, heading into the second Protoss map. The Relay Station. What an excitement. Vorgas has changed the name so it's not the Satellite Platform a second time, because in the original, both of these missions were just called Satellite Platform. And I gotta say, uh, being a, a real Insurrection fan myself, I like to get really heavily invested in the lore, and I just like to really just deep dive right into it. This just took me right out of it when they were both called Satellite Platform. So I'm really glad that we're, we're moving to the Relay Station now. I think it subverts expectations, but in a good way. Uh, so now I'm, I'm really able to, to get super invested. The satellite platform is now secure, but Terran and Zerg still fight on Bronte's 4. You must take over the relay station to avoid future interference. Let's go! Our progress, Judicator. With the Terran satellite platform secured, we maintain absolute control over the planet's communication network. Since its seizure, there has been notable chaos among the more isolated Terran settlements. As industry and trade have ground to a halt, a new level of barbarism devolves amongst its infant race. Your counsel, Judicator. I would recommend securing the Bronte's 4 orbital relay station. Whomever holds the station maintains complete control over both entry and exit of the planet's surface. Our scout ships report it is currently held by a scattered collection of Terrans, although their resistance rapidly dwindles under the constant harassment of Zerg. We must secure this position if we are to stop the spread of the Zerg contamination throughout the Bronte system. Set course for the orbital relay station. I will accept nothing less than victory. Victory. Secure the orbital relay station. F people have to survive. Let's go. This was a micro mission. It looks like it's the same. We'll hotkey Sandrea. We'll hotkey Andraxis. And let's group victory. everyone up. I like how we've got little uh, shield batteries and cannons that are just hanging out in these areas. We have so many scouts here. Oh my Contact. word. Okay, we're gonna hotkey them separately. We've got Sindrea. We have more over here. I guess let's move down. This is the mission where Andraxus's interceptors just randomly stopped spawning, which was really bizarre. Oh, okay. Just random mutalisks flying in. Interesting, okay. One thing I notice here, so Andraxus has 12 interceptors. Actually, wait. Oh, oh, can I can I select it? See, so his his interceptors do the normal amount of damage. I, I I don't know. I guess unless you made a separate interceptor unit, they're always gonna do the nine damage. So it's rather than increasing the interceptor damage, you just increase the number of interceptors. Is that's actually pretty cool. Okay, so let's take Andraxus. This might be one of those missions where if you play extremely carefully, Andraxus can probably complete it himself. I don't know that for sure. I'm guessing that, but I I would suspect that is the case. Um, these shuttles. I just want to get out of the way. Were these mutalisks? Did these mutalisks fly in in the original map? Because I, I don't even remember if they did or not. It's certainly intriguing. Also, our heroes, they can, uh, they, they regenerate their HP. So we don't really ever have to worry about them. Even if they take hull damage. So Andraxus is going to do a lot of the work for us here. I'm a little concerned about these random mutalisk attacks. They are going and attacking the, uh, the Terran as well. Let's get our observers moved up. Our cannons are all 333 though, so they should stay alive. Uh, let's just move up with everybody. We've got some High Templar here, which is really nice. Okay, cool. So we can see pretty much everything. Let's just like keep poking in and getting rid of turrets along the way. I'm not sure if this is going to antagonize the Terran to us or not. And we have enough money where we could rebuild some of the turrets. Or not the turrets, the interceptors. Back up here, buddy. I have interceptors attacking two different things. That's interesting. It's probably because there's eight instead of uh, 12. I guess this does keep things a little balanced because typically they're not going to be... Uh, like, if you, don't, if you don't have to rebuild the interceptors, you only have a certain amount of money to do that. Oh, scouts. That's a waste. Okay, they're, they're flooding in over here. Scouts, you fools. So we may be able to get rid of like this stuff. Why do you keep doing that? Stop it! You're you're sick. You're very far away. Why are you doing this? Meanwhile, this is still getting attacked. I suspect we'll be okay. Okay, let's back up here. Apparently, one defense matrix Goliath can make this happen. Let's inch in and get rid of like this tank on the high ground. Oh, the glory of Aya! Let's get Sindrea up here too. She can do some good damage, even though she attacks very slow. I could recall over here. I'm not sure if I w if I if I want to or not. Anyway, we got rid of the the interceptor up here, right? 
Or not the infest. See, I, my brain is all over the place here. I want to get rid of this tank. There we go. Looks like Sandrea attacks a little bit faster, too. Why can she not one-shot Marines if she does 75 damage? It, it looked like she just, like, wasn't able to kill a Marine there. That was intriguing. A High Templar have an attack? It's not bad. Um, okay, so let's let's start attacking down in this direction. Yeah, and they're, they're the Mutalisks constantly attacking our enemy, which is very nice. Okay, so I'm probably going to lose a lot of my uh, my forces just as they run into locations and die. Like this, sort of. So let's back them up here and be, be a little safer. Be a little safer, I said. Let's see if we can snipe this. Every science vessel we can get rid of will take a little bit of the pressure off of us. Yeah, okay. That's smart. He lives? He does not live. He did not. He has not done it. Okay, so we're going to attack over here. Is that a new Dresden Elite Guard? I don't like that. Okay, and then I guess let's just clear this out. Yeah, there is a new Dresden Elite Guard. Can we, um... Can we please get in here? I have to be careful with my money because I'm rebuilding interceptors constantly. New Dresden Elite Guard has been smoked. I'm not sure what, what over what this was over here. So the goal is secure the orbital relay station. Does that mean like this might be a situation where we do have to destroy everything? I genuinely don't know. Okay, so we're inching forward with our ground forces. I think we've lost a lot of our ground forces already. This might be one where we use our air forces to great effect. Woo! Huge whiff. <clears throat> Huge whiff by Jay Barino. Okay, we still have a lot of ground forces back in this direction. <clears throat> Excuse me. Oh my god, that's... I don't know why my scouts are so eager to run in. I, normally Corsairs do that, but not scouts as much. I'm just sort of surprised. So I'm playing it safe, obviously, um, because anything could go wrong here. We could use Sindrea to just run in here and do good damage. Let's see. Yeah, she attacks very fast. That's not bad. <clears throat> Ugh. Guess I'm a little dry tonight. Okay, let's lure the new dress and elite guard back to us. I might just want to recall my forces on top of this stuff, considering... Yes, get him. Get him, High Templar. You did it, High Templar. And then we got to rebuild these interceptors. Not even sure where these units even came from, to be honest. Not a bad storm. Ooh, High Templar. Let's not... They must have dropped over in that direction. Okay, so we have to come through here and get rid of this middle section, and then we'll be able to kind of stage... Stage our, our ground forces from that side. But this kind of sucks because we're trapped. This might It might be worth using Sindrea to just... It might be worth using Sindrea, I don't know, just to recall on top of them because we're going to get trapped here. Or we just use Andraxis. So let's, let's actually hold out here. Oh my god. <laughs> Scouts? That was so many rates. The Scouts can do it. Okay, so let's keep inching. Actually, now I think I, now I think we can run in. So let's do that. Let's go. Be careful with the Observers, actually, because those will die very quickly. It looks like they're actually building out of these... Oh, I, saw, I thought I saw it this production structure actually building earlier, so that's why I'm a little hesitant. I think this is the one where they do rebuild out of the production structures, too, so we, we can't... We can't just assume that this is all gonna go super well. Storm. That was pretty good. Storm. Storming is, is going well, if I do say so myself. The, the, oh, I thought they unloaded that bunker for a moment. They didn't. Let's move up with our heroes. I've already lost a lot of my ground forces, I think. Yeah, so this stuff is slowly getting chipped away at. We can always backtrack and, uh... We can always backtrack and focus on, uh... Recharging shields, but I'm probably not gonna do that. So we gotta get rid of, like, this. I think I'll swing up and get rid of the top section first. Oh my god, it's so many raids! That's crazy! No, no, no! 
It's, it's, it's honestly more of a challenge to stop my units from doing extremely stupid things. I can't feedback this, can I? Good, it's, I think it's attacking Sindrea. She can, she can take it. Oh my god, look at the range on this. That's nuts. You know what? Just hold position back. No! Stop it! Oh! Please! I think it's because Andraxis has a higher range that it incites... Because his interceptors get attacked, it incites my units to go... And try to defend him, basically. Oh my god. Okay, I want to get rid of this tank, and then I'm going to backtrack. All of you, please just stay on, just clump up and sit on hold position for now, please. Just stop it. Never mind. There's a battle cruiser. Not sure where it's going. Again, three scout, like ten scouts that are three, three, three is not bad. They can probably do a lot. Least of which is snipe a battle cruiser. Okay. Hold position. We're gonna we're gonna backtrack here momentarily because I want to use a shield battery before this stuff all goes down. Okay. I guess well we could hit this first because we're like right here as opposed to trying to go all the way up and through here. We did take out this top section and I think what I'll do is recall on top of them. But I don't want to do that because it's a little risky. Okay, yeah, this is going to use a lot of our energy, but I think it's worth doing again in case these uh, these shield batteries go down. Yep, and he is getting his shields back. That's good enough, I think. I thought I had another Arbiter. It must have gotten taken out. I'm actually surprised at how, how easily we've lost things early on here, but this is one of those where you, like... It's just like classic StarCraft 1 micro where things can go wrong so easily. Just like one minor slip up and like, oh, there go all your units, sorry. Bye bye. Still kind of deciding which direction we should go. We have more than enough minerals that I think we can just, we can take out this section and then we can swing down to the to the right. Those missile turrets are, are a little scary, so we have to be extra careful. Okay, well, again, let's just use Andraxis. I was going to say we could use Scouts because they're, you know, they Scout. But I think this is fine. We're already kind of on track to, to be on track with... We're on track to be on track with this. That's right. Poor shield battery. Heal your own shields. You can do it. Okay, there's, like, nothing down here. So let's, uh, let's get in here. We can bring, uh, Andraxis and Sindrea. And that stuff's just gonna sit on hold position. I should have been using hold position earlier, though, because clearly uh, it's easy to lose uh, a lot of stuff because they just like to run in there like clowns. Can you use Sindrea to hit these as well? Okay, Sindrea, please be careful. I also see... A new Dresden Elite Guard, and he's been getting hit by, uh... I like that he's been getting hit by Mutalisks the whole time. That's pretty That's pretty nice for me. Losing, uh, Interceptors, that's bad for me. Those Mutalisks look like they're going straight for the new Dresden Elite Guard. Run, Sindrea, run! We can get her shields back as well. Is that gonna burn down? Not quite. Man, the range on his interceptors is so far, it's kind of hard to... Oh, okay. Oh, we got a... We finished off a new Dresden Elite Guard. You know what? Let's move on down here with everybody else and clean this up. Meanwhile, let's let's get my heroes over here. Might as well try to take what progress we can. Scouts, move on up. What have I left behind? An, an observer, which I think I'm going to move here because that's where we're going to be going eventually. And then these random mutalisks. I think the important thing is we still have three high Templar, which can which can really annihilate these Terran as they come through these small choke points. It looks like uh, Brown is continually building, though, which can be a little scary if we're not careful. We still have more than enough resources to rebuild stuff here. It looks like the Zerg have taken out whatever was down here, so we don't have to. But the more the Terran that we take out, the more that the Zerg will be hitting us exclusively. So that could be that could be a little frightening. Let's um. 
I think what I would like to do is start attacking down here, but not with the scouts, because there's a lot of anti-air. We want to attack with our ground forces down here. The Nudra's an elite guard is still here, though, I think. Yes, it is. Okay. And Draxus can finish him up. It's okay if he gets rid of one or two interceptors. We lost one zealot to him. Okay, so we'll get rid of this. Sindrea, you can just sit here. Or we can send her home real quick to get her shields back. Energy's coming back pretty quick on these. I don't know if we have to destroy everything. I kind of want to assume not because we haven't had to in the past. But at the same time, again, it's hard to tell when it says, like, just, you know, take control of the platform. Actually, I'm going to assume no, but maybe it's worth, again, just, well... Honestly, if we, if we leave these here, it'll, it'll distract the Zerg. So that would be pretty good. So we are gonna, we are gonna backtrack here. We have lost a lot of our ground forces. That's about expected. Use this. Okay, Sandrea, come on down here. Again, it's, that's so far out of range. I'm actually kind of shocked that he can attack that far away. It's really good. That's it's a really, really long range. Okay, so we're going to start from the bottom left and start pushing our way up. Yeah, so this way. I think we just attack with everything now. Our scouts are strong. They can take some heat. And uh, did I leave any other units back here? No, just an observer. Yeah, sure. Get rid of these, uh, these turrets. Man, I can't believe that he can see that far away. It puts him a little at risk, but, you know, he's fine. All right, Sindrea getting hit by the uh, new dress and elite guard. Okay, he's done. Sindrea back up. I'm glad we took the time to get your shields back. Okay, cool. So, not sure if we lost anything exclusively there. I don't think so. Again, this I think we leave the supply depots and let the Zerg destroy them. Uh, actually, if we let the Zerg destroy them, they're going to build up how many Mutalisks are in one spot at a time. So, that could be a little dangerous. Um, I think there's nothing up here. I think we want to just backtrack. Because this is the last area of production structures we have to get rid of. Everything else is, is fine. I mean, Sindrea can get rid of these Mutalisks, no problem. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's ignore, the, let's ignore that stuff. So we're going to come up here. So it comes to pass. So it comes to pass. Okay, random Goliath just all over the place. Sindrea's pretty low on shields. We could, I mean, we're heading back up this way anyway, so we could, we could, uh, recharge her shields again. So I think attacking up into this location is going to be a pain in the butt, but that's why I think I would rather recall. So let's just clump up. Let's just clump up. Let's put our ground forces on hold position, like all of this, on hold position so that we can grab it all when it's time. And Andraxis alone should be enough. Um, we may be able to get all this in one go. It's going to be tricky, but I'm going to go get her shields back, and then we're going to go from the left side to clean this up. So let's take this observer and get a good idea on where... I think we just want to go with, like, straight on top of the, uh, the new Dresden Elite Guard. So, like, right here. It looks like there's a turret here, but that's not that big of a deal. Let's, uh... Let's do this. Man, the, I mean, the heroes are so strong. It makes missions like this way more fun, as opposed to the first time I played this. It was, like, a, a nail-biter because of how much, uh... Like, it came down to the wire, and then Andraxxus just stopped shooting. It was like a nightmare. Anyway, the Terran have no other production structures, so we, we want to clean up their, their... Or, I mean, this is it. So once we clean this up, um, then we have to be careful of the Zerg, and we may have to destroy everything else, but otherwise it should be fine. We did not get everything, but we should be able to recall twice. Nope, never mind, it's 150. Okay, Andraxxus cleaning this up as usual. Let's take the scouts and just clean up the missile turrets, because that's really it. Nope, that's a lot of missile turrets, actually. 
This may realistically be all we need to do even. Like we have all this stuff up here. We just gotta snipe the production and the command center and we may just have it. So this stuff, bring up here. So this should finish it. We can just we can kill these mutalisks too, just in case it becomes a problem. But I don't think it will. I think they unloaded the bunker. Yep. Okay, that should do it. It did. Okay, cool. So even on these micro maps where it's like seemingly you have to clear it all out. I, I mean, this was answered for me in the last mission. I don't know why I'm questioning it, but we only have to destroy the production structure. See, that was really fun because I like the idea like of a carrier with 12 interceptors. That's a cool real. That's a really cool little modification there. And then Cindrea, really strong for an arbiter. That's great. So she's actually uh, pretty fun to use. In fact, I don't even know if we can use her again in this campaign. I don't. I don't remember. Okay, well, this has been Jay Barino. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye now.